Want to make a Realm Shaper engine for your Seraphon army? Got some foam laying around? Well, I do. So let's make one. We've got four pieces of foam. I've numbered them. One, two, three. And the fourth one's got no number because the top's going to be visible. And I made some lines on it. Uh, make some stairs in that section of the foam. Working with foam is very simple, but I do recommend using one of these hot wire cutters. The hot wire cutters drastically cut down the mess when you're cutting foam. You can use a sharp razor and that'll work just fine, but you'll get a lot of stuff that breaks off and it just sticks to everything due to static. When you use the hot wire cutter, you don't get that problem. So I highly recommend using a hot wire cutter if you have one. And if you don't and you're thinking about making some terrain, you might want to invest in getting one. They don't cost that much and they're super useful. Yeah, that worked pretty well. Just kind of pivoting. That's as far as I can go with my cutter. I've cut out my basic pyramid shape and I've roughly shaped in the front steps. I'm going to cut the rest out with a knife. I think it might be easier to just glue new steps on as opposed to cutting steps out. Engine. Starting to look like a Realm Shaper engine. For the glue up like usual, I'm just going to use some white woodworking glue. This stuff dries clear, so even if I make a mess, it doesn't really matter. Some people might say use hot glue for doing styrofoam. Uh, I've tried that, but I never had any success with it. It usually just melt one side and then stay hard on the other side and before they stuck together. Definitely do not do not use CA glue. It just melts straight through the stuff. I got my bits box. It's kind of heavy. I'm going to let it sit for about 24 hours. I'll come back tomorrow and put on the steps. I cut out some steps, but I didn't like the way they looked. That is to say, I recessed the steps into it, but I don't like how that looks. But luckily, when I cut off the front, I had this angled piece. So I cut that, and I'm going to put that in there for steps. So it'll stick out a little bit, and it'll look nice. I'm going to take the end of my razor, not the sharp part, but the dull end part. I'm going to push it in and make a pattern so it looks like this Realm Shaper engine is made from rocks. I hope that when this thing's covered, and glue, it'll keep some of this texture and make it look as if it's made from stone. If you have Mod Podge, you should probably use Mod Podge. When you get to the corners, carry over the stone shape. That'll make it look more real. It's going to be a really big happy stone right here. This camera probably isn't picking up very much of this. Sorry about that. So I do plan on doing some more videos about terrain. And I usually use foam for my terrain. So if anyone knows a good way to film foam, let me know. I carved steps out of the styrofoam. But I don't like the way it came out. So I cut pieces of styrofoam that are going to fit into here. I'm going to glue them in so they'll look better. 
I know if you buy the actual kit, there's two kinds. You can make one that looks brand new and one that looks really old. I'm going for the old style. So now I've got some steps on. You want to make yours look a lot nicer and straighter, feel free. This whole thing is going to get coated in PVA glue. I'm going to water it down just a tiny little bit. You don't want to water it down very much at all. You just want to water it down just enough to make it easier to smooth across the whole surface. My shop the bone. It's dead. I did two coats of glue plus this varnish. Uh, it's kind of a walnut color, but it turns this kind of chocolatey brown color when it gets mixed with the glue. I did two coats of that over the whole thing. And then one coat of just plain white glue over the whole thing. And so I, it was pretty well protected. It had all the gaps filled in, but it was really shiny. The glue gave it a really bright shine. So I went over with two coats of this super clear matte. So with some dry brushing and some you know, aging effects later, I think it'll look all right. The cap on these Citadel paints isn't so great. So this, I guess it didn't have a good seal. And the insides are all dried up. I don't have any place nearby to go get new paints. So I'm just gonna have to wing it. So I got these MSB Bones colors. I'm gonna tan skin and pure white. I'm gonna to try to mix these and get some sort of lighter tan color and do a dry brush. This is how it looks after being dry brushed. Ended up doing a few different dry brush coats. Gives you some variety in the colors. I like the way it looks. Next I'm gonna do a Nuln Oil Wash. It is pretty hard on your brushes. I'm really happy the way the cracks in the stonework came out. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work or not. It came out really nice. So don't be afraid to experiment and try different things. I wasn't sure it was gonna work. I tried it and it did. I'm happy about it. Woodland. I've got Woodland Scenics from Kato Railroad Maker. I got some roots to some plants that were dug up recently and they're already stick color so I don't have to paint them. Hot glue gun, a cup full of white PVA glue, my cheap brush. Once all the hot glue is dry, I'm going to go over and put the white glue and Woodland Scenics to hide all the glue spots. Now you could put all these on and then prime your piece and then, but then you have to go through and paint all the wood. And I think they're really wood colored. So I didn't want to do it that way. You can see there, we got some vines climbing up our tower. This really is probably my favorite part about the hobby. Lightly pour off the extra. When it's all done, I'll give it a spritz of watered down PVA, and that'll hold everything firm in place. If you've got a terrain piece or something, and you're worried about glue near the bottom sticking, just put some wadded up tinfoil balls down below and sit that on top, and then it won't stick to the paper. Again, this is mostly water. We're just drizzling it on to keep stuff from falling off later. If you haven't tried adding oven baked sticks or roots to your bases or to your, uh, or to your terrain, I would recommend trying it. It's simple and it looks really nice. I wasn't sure if using a razor blade to make it look like it was made of stones would actually work. But I'm quite happy with the results. 
If you've got any questions or comments, please put them down below. I love getting them and I always read them. Thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate your views and your support. It really means the world to me. Stay safe, keep enjoying the hobby, and I'll see you next time. Not bad. Now let's go zap our enemies. Pfft. <laughs>